Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video we'll add materials to our cake and first of all let's rename all our meshes. To do that you either double click on the names here or you just select the mesh, press F2 and type whatever you want to name it. Now that we've done it, let's go to the shading panel. Which is here. Alternatively, you can add the new material in this panel, new, or you can split your view like that and select here shader editor and it will be the same panel that we'll use in the shading. Let's just turn it back, go to shading, and here is our view. Now, let's add our first material. So, let's create one for icing. To create a material, you either add it like I did just now, and let's rename it to icing, or you could add it here, press new and then rename again bottom layer. Now let's just quickly and okay so for us to actually see the preview of our materials we need to go either into this or this view they'll vary a little bit this one is more like ev and this one is more like cycles if that's what you have as your render engine now i usually choose cycles because it's more precise but you're free to choose whichever suits your needs the best now let's quickly do something basic to preview it Let's do chocolate, yeah. Yeah. And then one more for cherry. And one more for cherry stem. Okay. So that's our basic materials. Then the main thing you need to do and remember about materials is roughness. It can make your material either rough or glossy. So zero means very glossy. You can't really see it here. You can see it a bit. Yeah. So for example, right now, these will be more rough. This one is more glossy. Let's leave it at that. Then another cool feature is metallic property, but we don't really need it as much. Although for cherry, for example, we could do something like that just to make it nice and shiny. So then to make your materials more detailed and fun, let's add noise texture. So in order to better select our nodes and add them in here, let's quickly turn on the add-on. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then here search for Node Wrangler. And turn it on like that. Then if that's your first time turning on add-ons, check how to save preferences so that it saves automatically what you chose. Now let's close it. And now instead of searching like add, search, you can just hit space on your keyboard 
and then search for noise texture here. Let's add it here. So basically all of these nodes, they're just different properties of the materials which you can connect and get some interesting result. So for instance, this noise texture, let's add it in here. And you can see that these colors appeared. You can change their scale to be something like that. And then the roughness and the details. Also, the color is like that, which is, I mean, technically nice. Uh, what we want is to add a different color. So we're going to select color ramp, add it in here, and then basically choose one color, click on it, then click here, and choose another one. Maybe something like that. Yeah, and add it in here. Okay, and now let's add this noise texture to our roughness as well. Like that. And then we need another color ramp. But this one. So basically, see how roughness has the number from zero, which is glossy to one, which is not glossy at all. So here, black is zero and white is one. What we need is basically both being close to close to black. So this is more or less glossy, but just has some variety. Also, if we want to displace and make it a bit bumpy, let's say, we need to add this noise texture to normal as well. But since this is basically color, and normal doesn't perceive it as well, we need to add another node to convert the information from color into, oops, wait, here, into normal. Now you can see that it became bumpy. If you want to preview this node by itself without color, for example, press Ctrl Shift and select it. Now you can see um, the texture. Let's just quickly make it less strong. Now Ctrl Shift here. Yeah, that's more like it. Now what we also need is not only for it to look bumpy, but also actually change its location. So for that, let's quickly go into Material tab, scroll here, and then in Settings, here, in the Displacement, press Displacement Only. And now what we could do is add a displacement. So for that, let's add another node, displacement. Let's connect our noise texture to it. Normal, displacement, displacement. And it displaced too much. Let's quickly see what we can do about that. So basically, this one here needs to be close to 0, 05. We can make it into so that it has some bump to it. We could actually see whether we change these. Yeah. So see, this one changes it as well. Okay. So one material is done. Now let's go to others. So this one here, basically we need the same. Let's just actually copy everything. Let's say, Ctrl V, and then here, 
let's change the colors so here and then this one let's make it darker now let's add transparency as well and transmission roughness now here let's add this to roughness yeah to make it less rough and now bump if at some point you want a different bump but for example want to leave the same texture and color just duplicate this noise texture and add it here and now we can separately change these without changing the color it looks good let's quickly add displacement as well and then don't forget in material properties in settings to select displacement only let's see if you want to change something just a tiny bit press shift for tiny movements okay that's it now let's do two more for the actual cake let's again copy the textures Ctrl-C Ctrl-V so again color let's press here press here let's make this darker now this one goes in roughness and here you can see it became glossy but that's actually not what we need we need it to be white and closer to white now let's preview the actual noise texture here again ctrl shift and select and what I want for the actual cake, let's make it and then you can see how it looks a bit distorted. When it happens, we actually could tell the software how to perceive our texture. So for this one, we definitely wanted to basically know that we are attaching it to this object. So let's press Ctrl T. And basically what we need is texture coordinate. And here, instead of generated, let's do object. And you can see how it became less distorted. So let's add, what should we add? Roughness like that. And then maybe less detail more scale let's see how it looks and then we'll decide whether we like it or not so Control shift yeah that's more or less what i had in mind so now again let's delete this noise texture let's add this one to height here and add this bump here and you can see how it became rough then you can just adjust it how you wish and the last thing let's add displacement here yep okay that's it for this one now instead of actually doing the same to this material let's do that so here let's go on top let's unlink data and then here this one was called bottom layer 
Let's quickly select the same here through this icon. And then if we basically want to have the same material, but then change some things like color, we need to press this icon, new material, and then just rename it top. And here we could quickly change the color, let's say. So instead of these, let's select something like this. Okie dokie. Okay. This cherry. Uh, let's basically add the same textures just because it makes everything look better, honestly. Well, or mostly everything. Let's quickly change the colors here. Actually, let's make it less metallic, maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, now let's add this one to roughness. But then again, it needs to be more here. Okay. And then bump. Yeah. And then let's connect displacement into here. Okay. I actually made two different versions of this cake. One was more chocolate and another one was more, let's say, vanilla or something. So I think with this one, let's change back the colors to be lighter. So something like this. Let's make it less rough, something like that, and then same here. Okay, and then the stem. This one is very tiny, so to be fair, it will not be very visible if we change it. Um, but I guess we could alter some things how we like. Okay, let's see. That's more or less it for materials. You just need to experiment as much as you can, see what you like, see whether you want it to be more stylized or close to real life. And yeah, look at this delicious cake. In the next tutorials, what we'll add will be the sprinkles because it's a whole another world but we'll get there. So thanks so much for watching. I'm really glad that I have you guys here and hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful and that your cake turned out delicious.